join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just naked Ireland. Today we're going to make that most luxurious of drinks, the Irish coffee. Ideal for after a meal or just to rustle up on a winter's night. Having chosen suitable Irish coffee glasses, we prepare our other ingredients. The brown sugar. The all important Irish whiskey. And something to whip our cream in. It's best to use double cream. I did say this was luxurious. I don't need to tell you how to whisk up cream, but just take care not to thicken it too much, otherwise it's likely to sink in the coffee rather than float on the top, like the head of a Guinness. This film is speeded up here, by the way, in case you think we've some incredible whisking action going on. And this is roughly the consistency you want. And now a spoonful of sugar in each glass. Before we add our main ingredient, in our case we're using Bushmills. You may have identified my northern accent. Bushmills is just up the Antrim coast in the north of Ireland. I'm adding 25 millilitres in each glass, but you can use more or less according to how strong you want it. There are no rules here. Beautifully golden, like a Celtic brooch. Let's give it a bit of a stir at this stage to help the sugar dissolve. And then we turn to the coffee, and I'm using quality espresso here. Filter or even instant is perfectly acceptable if you don't have an espresso machine, but as I said we're going for a bit of luxury here. Again this is speeded up in case you think I have a turbocharged coffee machine. And just look at that lovely coffee. I wish you could smell it. I use a double espresso for each glass, which leaves the level just a little bit short. Again, another stir at this stage does no harm. You can see that the creme on the coffee has even started to give it a bit of a head. And we're just going to top each glass up a tiny bit with hot water. And then the most crucial stage of all adding the cream. This is where most Irish coffees go wrong. In fact, our cream here has been sitting a bit while we've been filming, so it's a little bit on the frumpy side. Better to have it a bit runnier than this, but we're getting away with it. And in any case, it's an Irish coffee. We don't need to be too well behaved. Just get it in there. As long as it doesn't sink, you're good. We're running it off the back of a spoon, which is the traditional way of adding cream. But some people use piping bags and even canned cream, I believe. As I say, there are no rules really, as long as you stay broadly true to the recipe. You gotta admit, this looks good. Weight Watchers, look away. If it looks a bit dolloppy, don't worry, it'll find a level as it melts. But it's important that the cream is cold, so that you get that sensation of drinking through the cold cream and then experiencing the hot coffee beneath. And then we're going to add a little grated nutmeg. Excellent if you're serving this around Christmas time. But other toppings are acceptable, perhaps the most common being chocolate. And there it is. As you see, I've tucked into one already and spoiled the final shot. That's how irresistible they are. She agrees. I hope this has been enjoyable. Go make your Irish coffee now. 
but please first take a second to hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to share this video with friends and family. Let me know how you get on in the comments. See you in the next video.